Hello everyone, this is Dietitian Soumya from Apollo Hospital, Second Amendment. Today we see many people, whether young or old, uh, even children sometimes complain of knee pains, joint pains. Is it because we are not eating enough? Or is it because the food what we are giving is not sufficient enough to support our skeletal system or the bone structure? Or is it because the lack of physical activity what we have? Last two years, the amount of physical activity people got was very less or maybe uh, we were not able to do so much of physical activity maybe due to various reasons. Now once when the children are back to schools, people are back to their offices and with additional weight on their body, yes this is a fact many of them have put lot of kilos on their body and this also could be one of the reasons why many people are ending up with knee pains and knee pains could be many reasons one lack of calcium osteoporosis obesity excess i mean uh, and other uh, health conditions which could lead to this loss of uh, calcium in the body now when we are not getting enough sunlight we are not exercising see when we exercise what happens is our body is able to utilize the uh, micronutrients and then it is also able to replenish with that now when we are not exercising where is the source of uh, the muscle tissue repair will not be done as much as it should be so when we are exercising the body is able to regenerate fresh cells and it is also able to make it more healthier See, when, uh, when a system is there for a particular activity, if we are not utilizing it, what happens is slowly it degenerates. That means it loses its strength or power, I would say. So, when we are not utilizing our legs, our body, our joints much, definitely as they become more weak and suddenly you put a pressure on them, it does not work out for it. So, it is not just the food that we should be careful along with that the amount of physical activity what we are giving to it the movements what we are doing it also matters so foods which are rich in calcium should be consumed and for that calcium to work we need sunlight vitamin d so we need to get exposed ourselves to the vitamin d or the sunlight at least 15 to 20 minutes and this vitamin D not only helps in bone integration in the body, but also many other endocrinological activities it does. I mean many hormonal changes it is responsible. So when we are getting it very easily in our country, I think we should be utilizing it more, uh, more and more so that we are not getting prone to vitamin D deficiency, thereby leading to knee pains, joint pains and other calcium deficiency disorders. And when we are talking about knee pains, uh, the fishes are one of the good foods where we get good calcium again. Uh, so small fishes like salmon, sardines, these kind of fishes can be consumed. Then milk, one of the best source of calcium and most easily absorbed. So milk and milk products can be consumed. Coming to the pure vegetable sources like many of them have now become vegans and also uh, you can consume a lot of green leafy vegetables and then uh, nuts and oil seeds like cashews or almonds, walnuts and different types of seeds what we have. Then sesame seeds are again one of the good source of calcium and sometimes we also see these in, pay, in people who are doing different kind of diets. Because they try to either avoid their carbohydrates, then they try to avoid their uh, fats, then they try to do different kind of uh, fat diets, which again lead to this kind of deficiency disorders. So, whenever we are planning any particular type of a diet or we want to follow something, ensure that it is balanced so that we are not ending up with a new problem.